that Margaya is only thinking about money. Throughout the novel, he only thinks about gaining money, making money and buying stuff for his wife and his only son, Bal. Margaya and his wife, both of them are very angry about his brother's family who intended to always poke their nose in Margaya's affairs. But he thinks of or he dreams about his son's education which he believes is more important. Hello, hi, namaste and welcome to Vidyashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. I am Nanda Kishore, Faculty of English in Vidyashram, Mysore. In today's session, I am going to discuss the novel, The Financial Expert, prescribed to third semester Mysore University BCom and BBA students. So let us see what is this novel all about and who is the author and who are the main characters. This novel is written by R.K. Narayan, known as Rasipuram Krishna Swami Narayan Swami Iyer. He was born in Chennai on 10th October 1906 and died on 13 May 2001. He is known for his work set in fictional South Indian town of Malgudi. If you have heard of Malgudi days, he is the inspiration behind it. He is the author, contemporary of Mulkraj Anand and Raja Rao. He lived in the era of Mulkraj Anand and Raja Rao, two famous writers in Indian English literature. The financial expert was hailed as one of the most original works of 1951. He received Padma Vibhushan, Padma Bhushan and Sahitya Academy Award. So let us straight away get into the novel now. The first chapter, in chapter 1, the main character, the protagonist of this novel, Margaya is introduced. And you should know that Marga is a way and Aya is usually acronym, it is abbreviated with a person. So Margaya is a person who shows a way and he is 42 years old and he has his own way of working under banyan tree and he works in front opposite of central cooperative land mortgage bank which was built in 1914 which is very important this is very important in terms of examination they can ask you which is the bank so Central Cooperative Land Mortgage Bank built in 1914. Margaya sits under banyan tree and what he does is, he is a sort of a broker. Okay, If I use this term broker in the sense he is not a matchmaking broker but he gives loans to people who are very poor or to people who face difficulty in getting loans. But how does he do it? He is not running a bank, he is not running his finance, he, is not ha he has not got any money as such. But in simple, he is using the trick of getting the forms, the applications, the stocks from this bank. Somehow he gets hold of this applications or, or forms and he uses them to give loans to poor people or the people who are in need of loans. And in return, he gets the commission. So that's how he is making money. And R.K. Narayan writes that Margaya is all about money. Money is Margaya. That is what it conveys. Out of this character, we learn that as a reader, we know that Margaya is only thinking about money. Throughout the novel, he only thinks about gaining money, making money and buying stuff for his wife and his only son Bal. But is he greedy? The question is, is he too possessed about money? Is he too fond of money? As the novel progresses, one learns that Margaya is not greedy. Margaya is not completely money minded. We know that Margaya is doing all such stuff so that he can keep up his reputation because he believes that he is living in 
such a high state, high position, that people should recognize him. And his wife, Meenakshi, the perfect wife of Margaya, who always supports whatever Margaya does. She's always there in his ups and downs. And on the other hand, Balu is spoiled because they conceived, they have this child after many years. And Margaya and Meenakshi, they pamper the child, which spoils him later. But whatever it might be, Margaya is too fond of his son. And he is the main reason for the downfall of Margaya's reputation as well at the end of the novel. But here, Margaya is giving loan to the people who are in need of it. And in return, he is getting commission from the people. He has few stuffs, few things which he carries in a box. He has a tin box and it is believed that it is the most important possession. He always carries the ink bottle and the lecture book, the account book inside it and the applications, the forms which is collected from Central Cooperative Bank. And he has a way of sitting under the banyan tree. He always sits there wearing the dirty clothes. Yes. And the people, they come and squat in front of them. He always cracks silly jokes where the people in return, they laugh at it. Margaya is a person who is not owning anything, but still he makes money out of other things from cooperative bank and from the people. Malana from Koppal is a person who has taken loan from Margaya and he has to pay some interest for that. Though Malana is one of the minor characters, though not major character, he manipulates, Margaya manipulates Malana and somehow he convinces that he had to take more loan which would help him in any instance. Margaya has borrowed spectacles from VN stores. This can be asked for one marker. VN stores just on a trial basis. He has not purchased it. And Margaya believes that 42 years old person like him is losing eyesight which is very damaging and is very upset and angry about himself because he is not able to read and not able to see things in a proper way. So he has just taken the spectacles from VN stores who happens to the owner who happens to be his playmate during the childhood and he has taken it on a trial basis but he has not paid the money yet and in one such instance his playmates, the owner comes and asks to pay the money and Margaya rebukes, he scolds that fellow that he is not supposed to come and ask the money in front of everybody which would damage his reputation. But after this consequences, after this happenings, Margaya never turns his face towards this store because he knows that he would be asked money for the spectacles he has borrowed. He lived, Margaya lived in number, th number 14, D, Vinayaka Mudali Street. He lived in a street. Yes, and the street is named as Vinayaka Mudali Street, which could be asked for one mark. And the property which his father had, Margaya's father, he had a huge property and the property is divided, equally divided between his brother and him. But it happened so, the only well in the backyard of Margaya's house happens to fall in his place. It belongs to him. But after the meeting and, and, and after discussions, Margaya agrees that both his brother and his family could use the well. But remember, the house is divided and there is a huge wall which stretches from the front yard till the backyard which divides the family. And Margaya is always angry. Margaya and his wife, both of them are very angry about his brother's family who intended to always poke their nose in Margaya's 
affairs. And Margaya's brother's family, they always called it Margaya's son, Balu, because Balu was such a kind of a son, such a kind of a boy, who always created problems. Balu was very much fond of toys, wooden elephant, where he will be troubling his father to buy one. He always wanted to buy, he, he always wanted to own or have toys. But Margaya is totally lost in his business. He is always fond of making money, maintaining the accounts, counting, calculating, lost in his own world. So as this happens, Balu, Margaya's son, I told you that he is always troublesome and Balu, once he gets angry against his father, he takes the account book, yes, and throws it to gutter in the drainage, which is shown later in the first chapter. Meenakshi, Margaya's wife, a pious lady and a perfect lady, a perfect wife for Margaya, who just follows his, his words. She just follows. Whatever Margaya asked for, she would not deny it. And before he could ask the breakfast or a cup of coffee or tea, she would serve and keep it ready. Margaya receives now, after this, what happens? In one such incident, Margaya is doing his daily work of giving loans and, and taking interest. Arul Das, who happens to be head P1 of the bank, Central Cooperative Land Mortgage Bank, he comes and summons, he comes and asks, tells, conveys the message of his secretary. Now, Arul Das is a P1. He has secretary. Secretary informs Arul Das to go and convey a message to Margaya that Margaya has to go and meet secretary. So Arul Das is a mediator who just listens to what his manager or secretary tells and comes and conveys the same to Margaya. But Margaya is so embarrassed, he is so angry in front of all the people who are sitting in front of him, they are looking at Margaya now in disgrace that Arul Das, after all a P1 has come to Margaya and is asking Margaya to go and meet his secretary. In return, Margaya scolds Arul Das and, and tells him that your secretary has no rights to call me and I am not liable to come and meet your secretary. But later it is learned that secretary is in good position. Arul Das comes and conveys the message and Margaya rejects. He is not ready to go and meet the secretary because secretary knows now. Secretary knows that Margaya is running a business which is illegal, which is not law according to the law or it is simply against the law. And secretary wants to teach him a lesson. Next what happens is, Secretary couldn't take it for long and he himself comes and he gives a warning to Margaya that he is going to call the police and gets him arrested because he knows that he has somehow managed, who Margaya has somehow managed to get the applications from the bank and somehow making money out of this interest. And this secretary he confiscates, he takes away all those forms, applications from the tin box he carries and in return Margaya scolds that he has no rights to confiscate what belongs to other person. Now Margaya is embarrassed, he is hurt, he is humiliated. Now he wants to teach a lesson to the secretary who took 500 rupees salary. This is very important here because it is, a, it is a matter of money and Margaya after all is a broker, a sort of a person, a money lender, a mediator 
how much would he earn in a month and secretary is earning 500 rupees a month so it puts him or it it places secretary in a higher position it is not only in the terms of money it also in in the term of his position the power he holds margaya is embarrassed he wants to make money moves towards home now this is very important because while going back home his mind is completely filled with how to make money the questions or the thoughts of teaching the secretary a lesson and to make money on the way home he sees his reflection on the glass of saloon and he thinks and he is just talking to himself to inner mind and he tells that he just looks like a barber and there are few people who are sitting and just looking at margaya but margaya thinks that it their their looks is such that they are asking me to go and give them a shave or a haircut they are not asking actually but margaya is feeling it to himself in complete disgrace he is just embarrassed and out of all this frustration he goes home and starts scolding his wife reaches home in pretty bad mood and starts rebuking his wife and he also scolds his son who is who creates the tantrum in his house at night they will have uh, the dinner and and they go to sleep at midnight in the sleep he wakes up his wife and he tells his wife who margaya he tells his wife that he wants to tell or he wants to share something with her and his wife tells can't you just hold on till morning is it so important at this hour that you have to tell me which is very important and he says yes of course it is very important and he goes on telling that there is one person the secretary of this bank who came and embarrassed me maybe he owns a car or maybe he draws the salary of 500 rupees or maybe he is in a good position but on the other hand margaya owns nothing he has nothing in his life neither a car nor money nor a job so he goes on conveying this feelings to his wife saying that i don't have either of this and he has everything which makes him the strongest person who gives the rights to come and abuse or manhandle the person who is very weak and he also includes he also says that maybe it is because the way i am dressed he is convincing himself possibly or probably if i dress up neatly then he would show me some respect and the way he sits under the banyan tree would portray to other people that is no or or maybe he is not more than an average person but within deep down himself he has that feeling that he is a great person who is helping out the people who are in need so he decides now uh, at this conversation wife boosts his morale she tells yes of course you can do well there are plenty of things that you can achieve and there is so many years that you can live longer and you can achieve and dream that you have dreamt of your dreams could be fulfilled and margaya decides to change his lifestyle from then on so what he does is wears his wedding dhoti so next day he takes out his wedding dhoti which was given during his wedding yes and he just believes that he could be a better person than what he was before and he believes that this appearance could definitely give a good image to people who are in need of money and also most importantly the secretary of the bank since then he never sat under banyan tree and people started questioning him why is that he is doing his business standing rather than sitting under the banyan tree and doing it but he believes that if he sits under banyan tree then again 
the bank manager would look at him the way he is is not supposed to but margaya faces financial problems later now what happens is he is not able to make money and he is upset about his daily life he is not able to pay the milk milkman yes and he is not able to meet the needs of his wife nor his son meanwhile arul dos takes margaya side and did what his secretary told as the days pass arul dos comes and he conveys the message that the secretary would be transferred very soon and it was not the mistake of arul dos who came and told margaya that he had to go and meet the secretary now margaya feels sorry about what it spoke or what it did and he has a soft corner for arul dos and he tells that you can go home and ask for the torn dhoti what he was wearing before and arul dos feels very happy that he is getting something from margaya now once this is happening margaya just sits on the bench and he thinks about buying motor car and mansion now every day it is the same routine giving loan and, and taking interest but he is not happy with what he is doing he needs to make more money he thinks about buying motor car and mansion and few stuff for his wife and good education for his son he believes that he is going to get his son admitted in the convent not in the corporation school because his son is studying in corporation school but he thinks of or he dreams about his son's education which he believes is more important and during this thought one can see that margaya is not only money minded yes of course he is but apart from that above all he is thinking about giving comfort to his wife and giving education the best education to his son where he even dreams of sending his son to a broad country but what happens is margaya meets a priest so as the novel progress he meets a priest who worshiped hanuman the god of strength who is the son of vayuputra who is the son of air and there is this conversation between the priest and margaya which is so lengthy and this priest who gives on going ideas to make money how to worship Uh, mother or goddess lakshmi and make money but before but before that both of them visit municipal chairman's house to perform puja here once he meets priest priest compels he just asks margaya to come along with him so that the priest would perform puja in just two or three minutes in municipal chairman's house and this municipal chairman he wants the priest only the particular priest to come and perform puja and that is the priest here after meeting they go on and it is late night they perform puja and Mar- margaya says that it is getting late and he has to go back to his house the next day Margaya is completely lost in looking at the account book but Balu is very adamant he is creating problems and Margaya gets angry on his son and throws away he just pushes him Balu comes and bites Margaya and takes away the account book he also spills ink on account book now he is frustrated he is furious and he beats him and later balu takes this book and escapes he just plays around he escapes he runs out of the house and margaya is like chasing him chasing his son where the entire street is looking at this scene he is just running and telling hold him hold him but no person tries to catch this boy balu he somehow escapes and finally when he is fed up Balu just puts this account book in the gutter. 
this triggers anger and Margaya is furious now. He again starts breathing and later the vendors they come and stop Margaya from meeting his son. And later what happens? One of the passerby he asks Margaya that he cannot get this book from the gutter because it is the gutter which is too much of silt, too much of garbage and too much muddy and the water is flowing in a, in a faster pace. So the passerby gives an idea that he needs to call the scavengers and they are the right people to get this account book out of this garbage or gutter. And Margaya thinks, what is the use? Will I be able to read anything from it? No, it is not possible. And later, he goes to the priest and the priest gives an idea. Now he wants to make money. He has lost book. And without book, he goes to his daily workplace, ban entry, and people ask, where is the book? And he says that he has given it for rebinding. It is stone and he has given it for rebinding where he loses his account. He is not able to recall or remember anything about his accounts. And later that evening, he goes to the priest where the priest will ask for the horoscope of Margaya because he believes that it is a bad time. Maybe he believes that it is a bad time which is going on in, in Margaya's life. And original name of Margaya, once Margaya comes back home and searches for horoscope, only then the original name of Margaya is revealed as Krishna and his wife's name is Meenakshi. After taking this horoscope to the priest, the priest gives an idea that he has to worship goddess Lakshmi, goddess of wealth. This could be asked for one mark. And when it comes to god of Hanuman, he is god of strength. She is wealth. And he says, he gives an idea, he gives instructions that he had to inscribe something on the skin of an antelope. Antelope is the deer, skin of antelope, one mark question possibly, and burn the petals of lotus, again one mark question, petals of lotus to pitch black, burn it and mix it with ghee. There are few terms and conditions which is told by the priest to Margaya, the way he has to perform puja. And ghee, again there is a particular rule, ghee should be made out of milk, milk drawn from a smoke colored cow or grey colored cow. Only from smoke colored or grey colored cow and he should mix it. He should mix both ghee and the lotus petals, the burnt ash, mix it thoroughly and put a poor dot on his forehead as a mark of grace from Goddess Lakshmi. Now what happens is after this, Margaya starts searching for the cow, grey colored cow and the lotus. After he comes home, he instructs his wife that he needs to clean the room, which is the only room and he needs to dump all the stuff in the hall, somewhere in the corner of the hall. And he goes on telling his wife that he needs, he gives the list to his wife for the required ingredients to perform puja. And later he goes out of the city to search for lotus flower where he meets Dr. Pal and Dr. Pal is sitting in a broken temple and backdrop is river Sarayu and Dr. Pal happens to be the journalist and correspondent of the silver way paper. Is a, is a correspondent to the silver way paper. This is the silver way. It is a name of the paper and it is a Tamil paper. After meeting Dr. Pal, they get acquainted and 
Dr. Paul tells that he has written four books. Now Margoya is very amazed that Dr. Paul is such a high class person, such an intelligent man because he has written four books and he considers, Dr. Paul says that he is a sociologist. He talks about the society and Margaya, while coming back, once it is getting dark, he just comes back of that water area, that area where he has found lotus. He finds, in, in fact, he finds lotus and with the help of Dr. Pal, who is just wearing shorts and bunyan, who gets into the water, plucks the lotus and gives it to Margaya. And Margaya later inquires about cows. Now, Dr. Pal is very curious because he wants to know why Margaya is inquiring about grey cow and lotus. And he believes that whether he is an Ayurvedic doctor. But Margaya is not. And Dr. Paul takes Margaya home, which is like very dingy, yes, and very small, and gives the manuscript, manuscript, the original text of his writings. This writings, this manuscript is about how to make love. In a sense, how to be good in bed. It is about Kama Sutra. He talks about how to hug, how to kiss, and Margaya believes that Dr. Paul is a very good writer and later he invests in his publications, the, the publication of manuscripts and later at the end of the novel you should remember that Dr. Paul is the one who creates problem, who involves Margaya's son Balu into doing adultery and after getting assaulted by Margaya, Dr. Paul is the one who blows the ears of his customers and brings down his financial property. So that is about chapter 1. I am going to meet you in my next session with rest of the chapters. Until then, keep reading. Have a good day. Take care.